one and all, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am the Max of You Trades. Now, there are a very large supply of games out there that are considered all-time classics that I have at no point in my life ever even touched. In my never-ending pursuit to try and solve that quandary, I have been led to this. Final Fantasy VI! It's, uh... It's a pretty big deal, especially to the people that done did gone done and played it. So, uh, I feel like it's a long time coming for me to finally play this. Especially what with them having created a sort of PC quasi remake, but not really. It's just kind of, you know, it's in widescreen and it's pretty and it's got some new stuff in it here and there and all that business. Also, a friend of mine, as you might be able to tell at the bottom there, uh, may have gotten his hands upon this and did a little workshop stuff of his own. He was, in, as far as I'm aware, extraordinarily faithful to everything and merely just kind of tried to provide clarity to some things and change some of the sillier names to better, more accurate things, that sort of thing. Either way, I'm sure it's gonna be super great. So uh, I've been looking forward to being able to play this for a long time. So uh, yeah, how about we stop delaying things and actually get on with it, why don't we? I know the bare minimum. The conflict known as the War of the Magi, when at last its flames had quelled, only the charred husk of a world remained. And the power of magic was no more. That's a bit of a bummer. Following a thousand years since, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines had come to replace magic, and life slowly returned to the once destroyed world. Steam power, the most powerful of all sources. But now there stands a force that would revive the magic of ancient times and wield its great power in order to conquer all the world in its iron grasp. Well, that sounds less than ideal. Just, just wagering that one. Could it be that mankind is truly so foolish as to repeat so grave a mistake? Well, if it's anything like actual real-world Earth, yes, absolutely, no question in my mind. Humanity is all about repeating its constant mistakes. That's why you gotta write this stuff down so thoroughly. Give people the play-by-play. -play. Hey, ho, never do this thing or everything is gonna go absolutely horribly. Mex. That's neat. Down there. That's the city? Wow, all this time after the ancient war, it's hard to believe. Oh, eh, probably just another wild goose chase if you ask me. That went by a little fast. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I have to read faster. You really think they would have authorized us to use her unless they were confident their intel was accurate? Proper authorization to use lady type? Her? Ah, yes, our sorceress. Ugh. I heard she burned at least 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers to charred corpses in only minutes. Kind of makes you feel sick to your stomach, huh? I mean, if you had to bear witness to it, relax, it's fine. With that thing on her head, she's not even able to think on her own. I don't know if I like that. She wouldn't so much as bat an eyelash unless we told her to now. You have to instruct her to blink? That seems a little messed up. Okay, we're approaching the city from the east. Move out! I may not have a lot of context about the given situation, but I can't help but feel as if... The people implementing mind control technology are probably not on the up and up. That's going to be my currently running theory. If the game would like to prove me wrong at any moment, they are more than welcome to do so. I enjoy the power loader armor, though. As we cross the frozen tundra. I'm just kind of quietly vibing to this music. This is good stuff. This is one of those iconic songs that you kind of hear even if you've never actually played the game, you know? You can almost always count on Final Fantasy to bring some solid tunes, you know? For as cool as these suits are, they really don't seem to be able to move that quickly. So, I guess it's going to take us a little while to reach this city, apparently. That's alright. 
I don't mind it. Builds anticipation, you see. Clomp, clomp, tromp, tromp, clomp and tromp and tromp and clomp. One day we'll make it to the lands of which we wish to dwell. What we'll do there, I don't know. But something tells me nothing good. Because again, the pre-mentioned -pre mind control technology. The, the lady type does not seem to be doing this of her volition. So that's, that, that, that probably bodes poorly. All right, this girl takes point, and don't waste time on the weaklings. How will I tell the difference between a weakling and a strongling? Remember what we came here for. Let's move out. You mind, you mind giving me a, a bit of more context on, well, okay, uh, on what it is we're looking for? I got some controls. All right, that looks pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. I can switch characters. Well, why would I want to play as a, a generic dude? I like this gal. I don't know, I don't know much about her, but I know she's important. You got green hair. You know how rare green hair is? Pretty substantially, man. Oh, uh, I guess we'll just, uh... Whoop, hey! Damn it! Imperial Magitek armor? Not even Narsh is safe anymore. And now I know what I'm using. Magitek armor. That's neat. Magitek. Magitek has many different things it can do. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of things. Uh... I like missiles. You, you, use the missile power. Missile magic? Oh, that didn't look like no magic missile to me. That looked like it was actually, like, military grade. Now we dance because we killed them. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, we're very happy about the things we just did. Okay. Well, I, uh, I blew that guy up. Sucks to be them specifically, I suppose. We gotta stop them! For Narsh! Angry dogs! Okay. Them dogs be mad about the state of affairs. Fair enough. Um, I guess we'll just use the power of the elements to annihilate things. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I, I feel like I'm not gonna get a chance, but I think I'm kind of fond of the missiles. I kind of like blowing stuff up. That's kind of fun. Yay! We just killed a bunch of harmless doggos. All right, <laughs> I won't do that every time. But there's something about the Final Fantasy fanfare that really makes you just want to make up lyrics to it on the spot. All right, I see how it is. Uh, Toxic Blaster. That looks effective. I think. What do you got? Oh. Ah, Chemical Warfare. Yes, uh, last I checked, that kind of goes against the, the Geneva Conventions. But, uh, I don't know, maybe this universe doesn't have those and you're allowed to use biochemistry weapons. That, mmm, starting to really feel uncomfortable about what we're doing. Ha! We got them surrounded! They're sitting ducks! Are we, though? We seem to be pretty gosh darn powerful, all things considered. I don't really know if, if we're in such a bad state as you think that we actually are, you know? Also, healing seems like a good idea. Uh, let's see, uh, how about, well, I mean, this thing can attack two at a time, so it seems like a pretty solid idea to me. We'll just heal ourselves up a bit. Gas out a couple of our enemies, because, I mean, if it works. I also don't seem to have much of a choice in the matter, but it would not surprise me in the least to learn very, very soon that the people I'm murdering are not bad people. Makes the incredibly jovial music that's playing right now hit a little bit harder, gonna be honest with you. Bit of a tonal disparity. That's all I'm saying, man. So I still have no idea what we're looking for. A person, a place, an object. What was it? Defend the mines! Defend the mines at all costs! Fortify our defenses! S summon wolfmen! That's right. Uh, but those aren't wolfmen. Those are like... Boars or something. Okay, well, that's weird. Uh, you go ahead and heal. And you go ahead and you do the healing thing too. I believe I can just do this and it will solve all of my problems real fast. 
As this appears to be a bit of a tutorial, the enemies don't exactly seem to be very durable. Or maybe it's just this really sweet armor that I'm wearing. I'm willing to bet that that's probably the case. I'm not even spending any MP on this stuff. I'm just able to use massively good attacks constantly. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. Mm. According to our source, what happened was that some miners unearthed that frozen Eidolon in the new shaft they were digging. So, I would guess it's most likely this one. I don't know what an Eidolon is. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what that is. I don't know how finding it helps anybody do anything. But I also guess I'm being mind controlled right now, so I don't have much of a choice in the matter. Alright. I'll handle this. Stand back. This flimsy barricade shan't stop me! I feel like there were many ways you could have taken care of that rather than charging in head first, but you know, I guess it worked. Hey, stop right there! Not a step further! We're not handing over the idol into the likes of you! Go, Ymir! Get him! Uh oh. What's a Ymir? Snail! That's a big ass snail! Hey, wait, hold on. I remember this beast. They must have trained it to guard the mines. They trained a giant snail? What are you talking about? You know what this thing is? Yeah, it's called a snail. They're goopy and oopy and ugh. I've heard stories about this thing called a lightning whelk. It's a monster that absorbs lightning. Well, that doesn't look good. Then it stores that energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack that shell. Affirmative. Okay, well, I guess that would explain why it looks like it has so many, like, I don't know, lightning rods all over it. All right, fine. I will attack this thing. I'm going to shoot missiles at it because that seems like the thing to do. But also, okay, just I, I completely avoid using electric attacks. I, I can do that. Eat missile, fool! Damn, that does a lot of damage. Either this, uh, either this lady type is... Oh, wait, I, I, don't, don't do that. Also, you're in a shell. Okay, well, then we won't do that. And instead, I will use this time to heal. There you go. I was explicitly told to not ever attack the shell. So I'm going to do that. And eventually, it's going to poke its dumb little head out, and I'm going to bump it on the head real good again. That's what's going to happen. Eventually, you're going to have to come out of that thing. Literally and figuratively, come out of your shell. Hey, there it is. That was a bad idea, because now you're going to get a missile upside the head. And also fire, and also ice. Because if you can combine those two things together, you always should. High grade ordinances. What are you going to do about it, snail? Aside from using various slimes, uh, you don't seem to be capable of a whole lot. Perhaps you would be more impressive if I hit you with electric attacks, but I... I, I was told not to do that, so, uh, yeah, sorry, Mr. Snail Man. Your days of being ooey and gooey and altogether ewy are long gone, I'm afraid. We just got no EXP from that, so what the hell was the point? P okay. <laughs> uh, all right, well. I mean, I guess it was a giant snail, so it just kind of is what it is. Over there. Over there, anywhere. Oh, hello. Well, that's a frozen thingamadoo. So, we've made it. And this. This is the frozen Eidolon that we're after? What's an Eidolon? It looks like a burb. Looks like a beak and some feathers. Yeesh, this thing's giving me the creeps. Something doesn't seem right here. Mostly because it's a big bird. Oh. Um, hey. Oh. Well, that can't be good. What? Where's that light coming from? No. No. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, he has died. What What the hell was that? What? What? Where the hell'd you go? Hey, no. Stop. My body is... Well, so much for those guys. Ah. Uh. The aptly named girl doesn't seem concerned. Although maybe she should be. And then the bird blew up. And also her. And then naps happened, I guess. Okay. Uh. Oh. Hello. 
Uh, ex excuse me, good sir. I I, I need another nap. I, I I have had quite the day, you see. I, I I need another snooze. She's a very very sleepy gal. I always love it when in these you know these RPGs where you can actually crawl into the bed like this. It's so cute. Also, the sprites kind of make it look like the back of her head, those little eyes. <laughs> At least from that angle. Yeah, but only only from this. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. Where am I? Oh, the world got shimmery. Uh-oh. My goodness, coming to already? And I only just removed the device, too. My head is pounding. I can't. Uh, okay, yep, no, everything got... Oh, God. It's like you get up too fast and the world turns green and spotted for a second. Oh ho, don't push yourself now. The others are using this control circlet to manipulate your thoughts and actions. You know what that is? It was robbing you of your own free will and forcing you to do whatever they told you to do. Oh, I, what? I can't remember a thing. It's okay, calm down. Your memories will come back to you. At least over time they should. I, I mean, I guess there's a chance they never will. I, I see. I've been having a pretty rough day. A mysterious and beautiful young girl born with the gift of magical sorcery and enslaved as a tool by the Empire. Because there's never been anything called the Empire in any, in any context, both real and fiction, where that's ever been the good guys. Noted! Alright, so here's the thingamadoo. I know that her Japanese name may be Tina. But I know in America we call her Tara, and I think that's just a significantly cooler name. So we're gonna go with that one. Yeah, I'd like to use this name, thank you very much. And thank you for letting me use the keyboard to type that. My name is Tara. Oh, quite impressive. Never seen someone recover this quickly. You've experienced people having their mind controlled before? How common is this around these parts? You must have quite the strong will if you're able to do that. I mean, if you say so. Oh, God, the dogs are here! They're angry! And after our fingers! Oh, God. Hey, you! Open up! We want that Magitek armor pilot! Don't try and stop us! Um, or you could, or you could not. I was mind-controlled. I, I, I feel like I'm exempt. Open this door right now! Hand over that witch! Well, well that's just rude. Now you're name-calling. She's an Imperial agent! Um, no, I'm not. It, uh, ah, cute portrait. Oh, look at her. Imperial agent? Magitek armor. What's going on? I don't understand. I'm sorry. There's no time to explain. Well, that's ain't that the story of the JRPG. You need to get out of here quickly. These damn fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way. Quickly now. But I, I still have a... Really bad migraine. You got any aspirin? Or at least a sandwich? No. I'll try to buy you some time. You try to make your way out here through the mines. Oh, okay. I don't really know if I'm in a state to be able to do that. Even if I hadn't just gone through some trauma, I literally just woke up. My eyes haven't even focused yet. Look! Up there! Uh, and then they ran away. I can only assume in fear of her presence. Which, you know what? Fair enough. She, do she, she does strike a stunning visage. Alright. Escape through the mines. I can probably do that. Let's say that I can. And then monsters attacked. Spritzers and highwaymen. That man just threw his damn tool at me. What the hell? Better men than you are only allowed to use wrenches weaponry. Friggin' hell, man! Ah, ah, knock that off! What's your beef with me? I ain't got no beef with you! Gagan! Who does that? That joke's on you. I apparently have a shield I can sometimes use. Goddamn! Kind of an ass, you know that? Even doing in here! Giving me a damn concussion! Ugh. Alright then. Oh, well. I know a savey spot when I see it. A mysterious light floods the air. Would you like an explanation about save points? No, I've existed for more than 12 minutes. I know what a save point is. 
Uh, does that mean I can only, uh, maybe save? Right, 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 right. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. I also see many, many a thing. Some treasure in the chest. Oh, and I got a run button. I can dash about. That's good. And the spritzes are here. Okay. I am uncertain as to what a spritzer is physically doing to my personage, but uh, that's a thing, I guess. All right. As we have an epic stare down, or at least as epic of a stare down as you can when you're staring down something that doesn't seem to have anything discernibly related to eyes. I guess that's also a thing. Anyway, hello. Phoenix down! That'll probably come in handy. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. If I get into another fight, I should probably heal myself. All right, then. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. Oh, God, he's going to throw another wrench at my head. Here's an idea. Maybe don't... Ah! Okay. All right. Just going to go ahead and not have any of that be a thing. Damn. You guys are exceedingly... Ma okay. You know, the first time, rude. The second time, I'm really feeling like you're kind of a jerk. The third time, now I just think you're a bit of a psycho. Uh, hey, all right, I can multi-hit. Good, good. I burn both of you to cinders. That's what you get. I do my happy dance because people aren't throwing wrenches at my head anymore. Ah, she's already she already had a headache. And I got a sleeping bag. All right, well I mean that's nice. At least now I don't have to go to like a the Home Depot or something or whatever equivalent there may be in these lands. I know not. Yeah, Lord, we're doing this again, huh? All right, then fine. Second verse, same as the first. I'm going to set you both on fire. Also, what the hell is a spritzer even supposed to be? At least the highway the highway man kind of looks like a, a hunchbacked mechanic. I can sort of understand what that one's going for. The other thing just looks like a weird sentient cloud monster. Some kind of living ball of plasma. There she is! Uh-oh. 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 Uh, okay, all right. Okay, well, that's convenient! Ow! Man! Tara has been having the worst day. Leave the poor gal alone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Flashbacks. Uh-oh! Kafka! Well, I know what a Kafka is. Huh. All right, um... What kind of voice should I be going for with this guy? Uh, okay, let's give it a shot. Ah! My sweet, sweet little magic-using tool. <laughs> With this control circlet upon your pretty little head, you'll be mine, mine, all mine! And there's nothing creepy about it at all! I mean, he's I know he's like a clown jester man and a bad dude. Okay, so he's responsible for this. Noted. Oh, now he just do be giggling about his evil deeds. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, so... I don't know about her past past, but that's not good. <laughs> yes, yes! Good, good! Burn them all to a crisp! Leave not one alive! <laughs> burn, baby burn! Disco... Inferno. All right. Well, that's not great. I'm guessing Tara is getting a bit of her her memories back, or at least as her at her time of this. My proud Imperial soldiers, we stand at the threshold of a brand new age. The long forgotten power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen, chosen by destiny to lead. Okay. Well, I can think of at least two red flags in those sentences alone. Don't like none of that. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. So join with me, my soldiers, and raise the roof. Nothing and no one in this world shall stand against our might. Hail to the Empire. Hail to Emperor Gestal. Terra does not seem to share in the enthusiasm. Or rather, they at least forgot to order her to raise the roof with them. Okay, so Tara's passed out in the mines. That's not the greatest place. You should have took your time, didn't you? Still up to your old tricks with all the robbing and plundering, I presume? Looting and polluting is not the way. 
self-professed treasure hunter and wandering traveler, searching all over the world for a legendary arcane relic. All right, well, to the best of my knowledge, Locke is this guy's name. I don't know every character, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to end up with a mishmash of names that I do know and names that I don't know. We're going to find out together, I imagine. But, uh, yeah, no, Locke sounds like a good name to me. I prefer the term treasure hunting. If you have to refer to me as something, call me that. Isn't that still practically the same thing? Not so! There's an entire world of difference between the two, you know? You know, that's just one of the eternal moral quandaries of the world. Like, I've asked multiple people, and they've yet to give me an answer. When does archaeology stop being grave robbing? You know? Anyway, never mind that. I heard there was something you urgently needed me for? Indeed there is. I've met that girl. Uh, that girl? Oh, you don't mean that sorceress that people have been speaking of, do you? As a matter of fact, I do. Yes, the city's, uh, city's Narsh forces are pursuing her now as we speak. It's a shame. The city does not have the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. Oh, it does have it, I mean. Sorry, I misspoke. These Narsh folk are too just too damn stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even try to listen. Most uncool. Alright, so what you're saying is that it's up to me to get her safely out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Once you two have escaped, make your way just due south of here. On to Figaro for the time being, is what I'm going to go ahead and say. That's how that's pronounced. Wow, nice response time. Tara, need a help. He blinks in astonishment. Oop. All right, well, that can't be good. There she is! How can you tell? There are so many rocks in the way. Also, that's a lot of beastmen. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Ugh, there's a whole mess of them. Koopo! Moogles? Moogles! Oh, yep, yeah, that's a passed out lady. Moogles! Are you saying you want to help? Koopo! 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 All right. And then the Moogles showed up. Hello, Moogle. What is the haps? Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Would you like an explanation? I feel like you wouldn't ask me if I didn't need one. You'll fight using three different parties. Press the L button to switch between them. Defeat the leader of the guards before his troops reach Terra or the battle's lost. Uh, okay. So they're gonna come at me from, ah, gotcha, 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 okay. They're gonna come at me from different angles. So I need to block off all possible routes for them. Okay, all right. Uh, although I feel like they wouldn't be giving me three separate parties if uh, I didn't need them, so that's going to be a thing. Oh dear, here we go. All right, uh, that's a lot of moogles. All right. Snow storming it up. Uh, okay, that hurt a lot. Like a whole, 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 whole lot. Whoa, damn. Yo, Mog, the guy at the top, he does big time damage. Okay, no, he's like the leader of the dudes. Noted. Noted. All right. I guess I'll save Locke for last. That would stand to reason, I believe. Also, I think that... Uh, uh oh Actually, no. I mean, the, the one at the top of this looks pretty strong, too. But are you strong enough? The answer was nay. Wow. Moogles can use a lot more weapon types than I thought they would have been able to. That's just neat. All right, well, don't mind me. Just going to uh, do what I does and does what I do. It doesn't seem like they're able to do much more than just attack. So here we go. I don't seem to have a lot in the way of being able to heal. So that's probably why I have so many separate teams. That would make sense. All right, you chill out there. And instead, we'll switch over to the next muggle group. There we go. There we go. Am I saying Moggle or... Mo I'm saying Moggles. They're Moogles. Oi. My bad. Sorry. I I, I got so used... Ah. 
fantasy names, man. Sometimes they just kind of be all like that, all right? I'm not... I ain't crazy proud of it. All right. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of dudes. All right. I feel like this team could maybe take on one more group before maybe taking a step back. Then I'll have the actual character character take care of business. He just straight up shanked that thing right in the damn face. And get a dang chance to even fight back. Damn, son. All right. Uh, let's see. L, L. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hop, hop, hop. What you got? All right. How are we rolling with this? How are we rolling with this? Okay. We getting chomped? No. Ooh. Okay. Locke is, in fact, definitely a thief. He may have taken umbrage to being called one, but he literally has a command called steal. That's probably going to be important. All right, that went pretty well. Is that all there is? Oh, no, there's still this dude. Hello. Oh. I see. Very well, then. Ow, that was my face you done just... Okay, you're slashing, you're chomping, you're doing all sorts of things, and I'm not a fan of any of those. So if you could all just stop with the exist being, that'd be pretty great. Also, I'm not the smartest man around. Oh, but I do know that when you're fighting a boss and you have a steal command, you should always try to steal from a boss. Uh, let's see. Can I maybe keep my little moggy friend alive? That would be pretty great. This guy seems to hit like a dump trunk that's on fire. So, uh, not a fan of that. Locke not doing a ton of damage, quite frankly. Oh, no! Mogoichi! You will be avenged, my friend! Knife to the face! You really think that a knife to the face would just, you know, be enough to take care of just about anything? Okay. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We lost a single Moggy friend, though. I don't like that. Is he okay? Or she? I'm gonna be real with you. It's kind of hard to tell. Much obliged, Moogles. We owe you one for sure. We all owe the Moogles a great debt of gratitude. Let us be real with ourselves. The world itself would not be nearly as pleasant or joyous if it were not for them. Also, man, that guy is freaking booking it! Alright. Well, uh, you, you seem to definitely still be alive. Alright, this switch here ought to... Let me just fajangle its bajangles here. Ah, yes. Moving giant rocks. That's something Switches are known to do. I mean, in video games, sure. Yeah. Awake finally, are ya? Uh, you... You saved me? I did what I could. It's the Moogles that really deserved your thanks for that one. Alright, well, so far I gotta say, first impressions on Locke, he seems like a stand-up dude, despite being a thief. Generally, if you can... I mean, like, he, he could have easily just said, Yep, I sure did. Didn't give any credit to the Moogles, but he did. I respect it. I can't remember much of anything before waking up in that bed. Anything from the past is hazy. It's just shrouded in a fog I can't see beyond. Dear Lord, you were in Silent Hill? You what? You lost your memory? I don't know. Sure. A man did tell me it'd come back eventually. So you've got amnesia. Well, don't you worry. I promise I will not leave your side until your memory returns. What? Well, it's just that, look, you're very pretty. I mean, I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I will keep you safe. I swear on it. Uh, okay. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Awkward silence ensues. <laughs> I mean, like, what is she supposed to do? Say no to that? I mean, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So I know I was supposed to immediately leave. Oh, I can, I, I can switch over back to Terra. All right. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like rolling this Terra. I like her. She's neat. Uh, okay. So I know I was told to explicitly, like, leave. But uh, maybe we could do some exploring. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Because nobody bothers to research this mess. Here, we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. I see. 
All right, well, sure. I mean, if you're gonna just be giving away free information. Ah, huh, I see. You, uh, you're triplets, identical triplets. Genetically, that's very unlikely, but still fairly impressive. This is water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Such springs are located throughout the world, so always be on the lookout. Oh boy, a bucket. That's my fourth favorite thing to drink liquids out of. The uh, other three being a bottle, canteen, and cup, in case you are curious. Hello? This is a school for the beginning adventure. Oh, you already told me all that. Okay, nope, you're identical quadruplets. My, 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 my. All right, well, uh, let's check this out. Just one room at a... Okay, well, now it's just gone to... St now it's become statistically improbable. I am left to believe that you are all clones. This is a save point. At save points, you can use tents and sleeping bags and also save the game. You can also use the save and quick save functions anywhere on the overworld map. That's nifty. The button you press to talk to me is the confirm button. Press the cancel button to go back. To bring up the menu, just press the menu button. Use a directional pad or analog stick to move your character. I feel like I would have kind of needed to already have figured that stuff out on my own if I were to even get to this point, but sure, all right. Valuables are something hidden in pots such as this one. Oh, like an ether. That is valuable. At least this early in the game. Thank you kindly, sir. Have you heard about relics? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. Well, that sounds baller. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. That's also awesome. Dual wield. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat, like a tank. Dragoon boots allow you to perform jump attacks. A person equi can equip up to two relics at the same time. Well, goddamn, it sounds like I need to find myself some relics. You got any? I'm guessing not, but that'd be nice. Potions may taste funny, but they also heal injury. If you're hurt, drink one to restore some HP. I mean, he says they taste funny, but honestly, they just taste like cherry. I mean, I get it. I'm personally not a fan of the taste of cherry, but you don't gotta call it funky taste, and that's all I'm saying. Staying at an end will completely heal your entire party. Handy. Uh, be careful. Sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Okay, well, then I'm doing this and opening it under the assumption that it will be monsters. Okay. Ha ha! How did you stuff an entire wolf inside that box? Also, dang, all right, Locke's got way more HP than Terra do. I should probably check to see their levels now that I think about it. All right, I was kind of hoping maybe the wolf would drop something after the fact. Eh, it's a bit of a bummer. Anyway, that is a pretty nifty map button. Not what I'm looking for, though. Let's see. Ah, level 7 to 5. Uh, well, they seem to gain quite a bit of HP when they level up, so that might work. Also, formation? Can I maybe... Hey, there you go. All right, that looks that looks fine and dandy to me. When selecting armor or weapons at a shop, symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. An up symbol indicates an increase in attack or defense power. Thank God. There are actually RPGs that don't bother telling you. Ugh. A down symbol indicates it's not worth your money. Equals indicates that, you know, there's really no point in even looking at it. A symbol beneath the character means that person is currently in your party. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. <gasps> Big chicky friend. Press the confirm button or up on the directional pad to move forward. Change course by pressing left or right on the right directional pad. Press the L button to change the view. You can also control it the same way as when walking. You can dismount by tapping the cancel button, but be careful. The bird will return to its pen as soon as you get off. That's very inefficient means of transport, if I'm being honest. If you get off the bird once, it is gone. Anyway, hello. If you set the battle mode to wait in the configuration menu, you can take all the time you want to select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked. Well, every single solitary fiber of my being wants me to do that, but something tells me that if I did do that, it would be generally frowned upon, and I would be making the game easier for myself. I don't really want to upset anybody, so I think I'll just do what I'm doing. WHY ARE THERE SO MANY OF THE SAME DUDE?! The white number that appears during battle indicates damage. Green numbers are for recovered health. All right, let's burn through these guys as fast as possible. Status effects are represented by different colors. Blue equals reflect. Oh, spells are reflected back at enemies. Okay, this actually seems pretty handy. Yellow, protect. Defense is increased. You're changing the black in my sprite to different colors. Shell, magic defense is increased. Haste, speed is increased. Neat. Slow, speed is decreased, like the slime from earlier. Pink, stop. Time is frozen. Dang. 
All right, well, that actually is pretty handy information. Thank you kindly. Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, but so is their attack power. So basically put your spellcasters back there. To change rows, select formation in the menu and press confirm twice on the target character. Oh, and if you select another character from that menu, you can swap the order of the two characters, like I did. There was nothing inside that one. You lied to me. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, especially if you've got your back to the attacker. Everyone knows you take bonus damage whenever you get your back slapped. I, I just combined slap and slashed. Slashed. All right. You can flee from most battles by holding down the L and R buttons at the same time. Handy. When the gauge next to a character's name is full, you can use a command action. Select the skip option to skip that character's turn and move on to the next in line. When selecting the target for a spell, press the L or R button to target all allies or enemies. Handy. The defend command has the damage received. It stays in effect until another command is entered. Neat. Do you got treasure? Sleeping bag! Woo! That's good. Now I've got two of them. Which is good, because there are two of us. We don't know each other well enough for that to be sharing it, let me tell you. You might find this room more useful after you've gained some experience out in the world. A lot of the things you'll hear in here might not make much sense until you've gotten your feet wet. This ain't my first RPG rodeo, Buster. I'll be the judge of whether or not I can comprehend the information inside. Although the arrangement they're in is mildly bizarre. Shall I teach you about status effects? You okay. Invisibility. Physical attacks will miss you, but spells will always strike true. You'll revert to normal if hit by magic. Imp. Prevents you from using special skills and magic. Zombie. Okay, zombies attack friends and foe alike. Only holy water can cure this status. If your skin is ashen, your HP is zero, and you're still moving, there's a good chance you're a zombie. I feel like I'd be able to tell if I were a zombie or not. These status ailments are removed when the character is attacked. Sleep and confusion. Gotcha. Undead creatures such as ghosts and da are damaged by curative spells and items. Good, good, good. That's good to know. Re-raise automatically revives a character if they get KO'd. Regen gradually restores a character's HP. Allow me to explain a few of the specialized battle commands. Runic. Absorbs magic and turns it into MP. Magic Seal Blade remains active until a spell is absorbed or another battle command is given. Trance. Boost attack and magic. The duration increases as more battles are fought. When selected, are Dance and Thrash. When selected, these commands are used continuously until the end of battle. Huh. Okay. Sounds like there's a lot of different powers in this thing. The Reflect spell remains active for only a short time and will not reflect certain enemy skill magic. I see. Fire, Ice, and Lightning are the three principal elements, because screw you, air. They are represented by the spells Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder, respectively. The image status creates illusionary images of a character, making it difficult for enemies to hit them. This is... Honestly, this is actually pretty good information that I know what status ailments that this game actually has and the like. That way, when stuff happens, I won't be surprised and I'll know how to react. Desperate times can bring out strength you never knew you had. Critically wounded characters may occasionally perform powerful hidden limit break techniques when you select attack. Neat. Something to note about the Reflect spell. Reflect doesn't block spells that have already been for reflected once. You can use this to your advantage. Cast Reflect on an ally, then cast attack spells on the same person to bounce them at the enemy. Get it? Why would I want to bounce spells off of my guys when I could just have the characters themselves cast the offensive magic? I'm sure there is a reason for it. Bushido techniques can be unleashed only after the required power for the skill in question is built up. You can select actions for other characters while power builds up. And a potion. Neat. All right. Well, I'd sure do be feeling rather informed about all things that I might need to know. Much appreciation to all y'alls. Weird cloning facility. All right. Uh, get the feeling that I probably shouldn't. Uh, yep. The answer to that is yeah. Mm, is that? Hey, you. And then we said no. Uh oh, uh, it's not safe here. We'd better head up south to Figaro, or Figaro for the time being. You got it. All right, then. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Didn't I steal a thingamadoo? A mithril knife, I believe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we match. Matching knives. Delightful. All right, so uh, I was told to head south, and south is where I'm going to head. And everything will just work out naturally without any problems whatsoever. <laughs> oh, dear God, it's a leaf bunny. Get the hell out of here, Peko Peko. Aha. Your bunny styles won't save you this time. I've never been more intimidated by anything in a video game than I have been by that bunny. Let there be no doubt. All right. Oh, and then a, a desert. Okay. Uh, are you Figaro?